What's up guys, coming back at you, eating some uh, homemade beef heart stew. Uh, this was from the half cow I bought. I slow braised it in the cast iron with some wine, butter, a uh, little bit of oregano, uh, onion, and a little bit of carrot. Absolutely delicious, a little ground pepper. Uh, heart is super nutrient dense. Um, it's got a lot of B vitamins. It's got a lot of collagen proteins. Uh, all things that are great for us. Um, I literally just got back. So I did my 23andMe, my genetic testing. I said I was going to do this a long time ago, and I finally got around to it. And then I sent the subsequent test to Strategy. Now, Strategy does your variations that impact your nutrients and nutrient-related health. So... Basically, the testing confirmed everything that I experienced, and I feel really vindicated. I'm just going to briefly talk about it, and maybe later I'll go into what each of these uh, SNPs and genes mean and the variations. Uh, if you do this genetic testing, they'll send you a PDF that will explain your variations and give you some, some more in-depth information. Uh, it's pretty user-friendly. You just do your 23andMe, you download your raw data file, you go on to Stratagene, you pay for it, you upload it, and like literally it's there within minutes. Uh, but I have genetic mutations on all of my uh, genes to convert beta carotene to vitamin A. I have genetic mutations that um, lower my B12 folate levels, and I have genetic mutations that increase... Uh, homocysteine, so homocysteine is elevated with low B12 and folate that's associated with veganism. That's a problem. Uh, I have genetic mutations that increase likelihood for fatty liver that process uh, sugars poorly that are increased for diabetes. Um, so high carb veganism, bad idea. Uh, it really explains my triglycerides and some issues I had around that. Uh, I have genetic variations that lower my choline levels. Um, choline is very difficult to get enough of and absorb enough of on a plant-based diet. Um, and that's a long story, but like I immediately when I came off veganism, like dove into eggs and liver and um, have to keep those up as well. Um, I have genetic mutations that take omega-6 fatty acids and upregulate them into pro-inflammatory compounds. Really bad idea for me to be eating a lot of plant-based fats. Or for that matter, non-pastured meats that are high in omega-6. And then on top of all of that, my APO uh, cholesterol variant type is a 3-3, which essentially means that I have a very, very low risk of developing any sort of heart disease as long as I remain active and within reasonable body weight. So essentially, my genetic makeup is terrible for veganism. Um, I could get more into it, but essentially, like, my family comes from Britain, Scandinavia, and Holland. And... We have genes for dealing with fat and meat because that's what was available to eat there. And starches didn't get introduced and fruits didn't get introduced there until really recently. So sugars weren't a thing. And, you know, when we read the science and we hear the rhetoric around veganism, um, it's very much broad strokes. And I wish that I had done this genetic testing before I got involved with veganism. I wish I had seen that ahead of time and known. And, and the test even says, like it comes straight out, like if you're going to be vegan, you better be supplementing with preformed day. Um, you know, all this kind of stuff. So if you're a, a vegan who's struggling or you know someone who's a struggling vegan or you're a recovering vegan or you're considering veganism, I can't recommend enough to do this testing and see what your genotype is like and, and eat for your genotype. Like where we come from matters, our heritage matters, where we had regional adaptations matters. 
it matters in what you eat, it matters in what you are capable of handling, it matters in what your microbiome is, all of this. Uh, and, you know, we've got to go on what we know and what we're learning and, and just stop saying that everybody's going to be healthy on a vegan diet. That's garbage. It's not true. It's fake news. <laughs> and it's making a lot of people sick. So, yeah, I can't recommend getting this testing done enough. I'll put links down below. Uh, yeah, I feel really vindicated in this. It's stuff I already knew I could feel in my body, but this just goes to show the data is there that backs up what I'm trying to say and what I have been saying to all of the people who are feeling resistant to my message. Hope you're all well. Peace out. Let me know if you've done this testing, what it said for you. Maybe it said the opposite. Maybe it said that you would be better off on a plant-based diet. Um, I know that that guy, whatever plant-based athlete guy, has a family history of heart disease and dying young. He's probably a really different like APOE variety. It's worth testing. It's worth checking out. It's worth having the information. All right. See you guys later.